What's up everyone, I'm Mike. And I'm Jason. And we're the guys from Beat Monday. Thank you so much for watching episode five of Beat Monday season two, the Orizaba mission. That was uh, a doozy. It was cold and wet. We're at 17,200 feet. Everything's freezing around us. Full on conditions on Orizaba today. We went down there with an ambitious goal to climb the south side of Orizaba and then run the new Grand Sendero Trail that circumnavigates the mountain. And we were successful in part of it, but not so much on one part of it. Yeah, I mean, as usual, we don't always get the weather that we hope for. And we certainly got served up a, a healthy dose of, of cold, a little bit of snow, sleet and rain. And uh, the first piece of gear that stands out in my mind as a, thank goodness we brought it, I had head to toe Gore-Tex. I brought my uh, electric lime Euro suit that Salewa hooked me up with and uh, I couldn't have been happier. I also happened to throw a pair of gloves in there that I didn't even realize were Gore-Tex until uh, Mike and I were the only ones with operating fingers and our, our camera crew was, <laughs> was dropping like flies. One so, by one. So head to toe Gore-Tex, really good gloves, really good hard shell. I was really happy to have that stuff. Yeah, that's actually really funny. So we started off with like, I think five camera crew folks and a guide and like all these people, all, all sorts of people. So the first person to drop was the guide, then one, one camera guy, then three, then another camera guy. Next thing you know, like Jason and I are like alone, we're like, where, where is everyone? With frozen GoPros, like it's probably yeah, time to, yeah. probably time I mean, to largely because we out. brought like three pairs of gloves each. We did have some Gore-Tex. I didn't have the full kit like Jason did, but we were, we were a little more prepared. You know, another thing that was really helpful on that mission, uh, we went with a really lightweight but durable set of aluminum crampons. Uh, strap on, you know, the uh, conditions on Orzaba, it was like firm uh, snow walking. Uh, so nothing too serious, no, no real ice. And so these combined with like a really good boot were a uh, pretty critical setup. And you know, you can kind of get away with, with lightweight on Orizaba depending on the conditions, uh, which is really nice. Next up, and also where Mike and I differed a little bit is when we're doing these adventures, we're trying to go as light as we can, but also make sure we have enough of a safety margin to be successful and keep ourselves safe. Uh, Mike went with a slightly lighter boot that he and I have both tested at sub, you know, sub zero, negative 20 degree temps, but it's not as rigid. I ended up bringing kind of a more traditional mountaineering boot. This is definitely a three season that I coupled with, heat, with heated socks. Um, it is also Gore-Tex. It has a rigid bottom, so this coupled with the crampon, for me, was a really solid combo, and I'm glad to have brought a, a real mountaineering boot up on Orizaba. Yeah, I mean, I had no rigidity in my boot. It was super light, it was warm, um, and even though the, the terrain and the conditions weren't too serious, it would have been nice to just have that peace of mind, that extra security that you know a more rigid boot provides. So definitely wish, you know, next time I'll, I, I won't skimp on that part. We actually got lost uh, while we were sending the Grand Sendero Trail. We're trying to sync up with the trail. We lost it a little bit. Close to our GPX track, but we're just wandering through this meadow of the death flowers, which look like this. Let's just stay up here, but trend right so it intersects. Yeah, yeah agreed. It'd be so helpful if it just stopped being foggy for one second. We were almost done. We were in this last little valley, and we needed to find our way out of this last little valley before, before getting back to the starting point. And we were very lucky that we had full battery and we were using uh, navigation on our phones to help us get back on track. It took us a while. We were like spread out in full search and rescue style, like yeah. gritting out, trying to find the track. It was hard, but if we didn't have these phones, I think we probably would have been uh, maybe spending the night out there. And that was after like, you know, many hours, 12 plus hours above 14,000 feet. We were tired. We were working hard. It was good. Nav was crucial, as it always is with any outdoor endeavor. But the, the phone mapping apps definitely make life a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. We really enjoy sharing this information with you about episode five, the Mexico Adventure. Uh, reach out to Mike and I anytime if you have questions about the gear we use, why we use it. And of course, tune into more episodes of Beat Monday. Follow us both on social, at Beat Monday. See you later. See you soon.